So it's time to start working on the second barrel, and there's quite a bit of complexity in this, even though it looks relatively simple. Decided to base this version a little bit more closely to the Hot Toys version. From what I can tell, it's a little closer to the one that's in the movie rather than one that's rendered for the game. And there seems to be a little bit more reference material available for that as well. I'm cutting in eight slices with a very small angle removed from each slice so that it produces the taper I need to get the effect that I'm looking for. The piece of tube that you can see there is the same size piece of tube that's going to run through the centre of it. And by holding the little piece of tube in place I can use the rubber mallet to put a slight bend in those cut pieces down so that it all starts to line up. I don't want the slices to be exposed so I'm going to be making up a secondary cone that covers them up. That will thicken it up and it will also mean that I only have to hide one joint instead of eight. There's eight pieces that go around the outside diameter of the barrel. My guess is that they're supposed to represent a heat sink, which would kind of make sense if there was a high temperature plasma bolt going through the barrel. Once I've got that cone piece anchored into place, I can start adding in the individual components around the outside, and that will hide that seam point and add a great deal more strength to it as they're added. So that's the front bit done and it's time to start working on the next. And there's eight of them on each section so I'm going to need to make up 24 of them. The parts that are on the forwardmost section of the barrel taper down like the barrel itself so that the gap in between them remains parallel. The other spaces that are attached are just rectangular. Pretty much using the same sort of principle to get them attached. I was going to try and completely hide the joinery of these but I found that once the screw heads have been cut off it leaves behind a kind of flush rivet point that I quite like the look of anyway. I was out at my local metal recycler and I was lucky enough to find a bell housing that covered up a spindle that ran into a gearbox and based on the pictures I've been able to find it's very close to the right shot that I need for the rearmost part of the barrel where it attaches into the body of the gun. It's going to take quite a bit of cleaning up but it should still be a lot easier than having the cast apart from scratch. You can see there that I've press fit a disc of aluminium into the end of it. That'll give me a section now that I can drill out that'll accommodate the size of the barrel. In the next video I'm going to start cutting out the vents that are in this rear piece. And because this is the part where the lights shine through I need to start working out how I'm going to set that up as well. Anyway there's been a lot to do for this one, but that's the update for this time guys. Thanks for watching, talk to you next time.